I think we're all concerned that Omicron has such a large number of mutations, more than 50, that all the things that we've done to try to generate immunity against this virus, this is a somewhat different animal. Scientists are trying to understand the heavily mutated Omicron variant now tracing its origins to a different and earlier path than first thought. The discovery of this new variant, of course, comes at the same time during a busy holiday travel season. A renowned expert in virology, Dr. Larry Corey with Fred Hutch joining us live this morning. Uh, Dr. Corey, you've been in touch with some of your counterparts in South Africa where Omicron was first discovered. Uh, we've gotten this question from a few viewers this morning. Between Omicron and the other variants we've seen, uh, like Delta, are there any differences in the symptoms that we might discover? At the moment, there does not seem to be any differences in symptoms between uh, Omicron and Delta or Beta or Alpha or the ancestral strains. Uh, the disease seems to be coronavirus, SARS coronavirus, just like. Um, no evidence there's increased severity, um, but the symptoms and signs appear to be similar. What about the people who are, uh, you know, getting sick from this new variant? Is it different than what we've seen with Delta? Well, I think what we're seeing is a lot of similarities with Delta, which, of course, uh, can be disconcerting in the sense that um, uh, South Africa is going through what they'll call their fourth wave. Uh, their third wave was Delta. The fourth wave is uh, Omicron. It's occurring in the same areas where there's been a lot of Delta, so it doesn't look like Delta is protecting against Omicron, and genetically it's quite different. Um, and the rate of rise and some of the mutations that are seen in Omicron are the ones that are associated with high transmissibility like Delta. So it does have the Delta transmissibility characteristics and seems to be behaving like that at the moment, at least for the first two weeks that we um, have it under observation. So it feels like every day now we learn a new country has discovered Omicron uh, within their borders, but you know maybe it's still in Europe. A lot of people wonder, is it already in the United States? Are positive tests being tested, testing the, for the new variant right now? And can rapid tests identify it? Rapid tests cannot identify it. It just identifies COVID, doesn't tell you the strain. In order to have the strain, you have to do some special things, either by one of the PCR assays or by the genetic sequencing. I suspect there will be uh, some cases already because we've seen a lot of travel into the into the country. And I think mean, one of the uh, <clears throat> issues that we have is can we increase our testing at, the, um, uh, at our airports, mm -hmm. um, to do rapid tests at the airport to find people who are um, incubating um, uh, uh, SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19 and um, essentially pick it up at the airport and, and sort of quarantine and, and deal with that at, um, at the point of, of entry. A lot of people are wondering about vaccinations and yeah. a lot more people are vaccinated now compared to when the Delta variant was first introduced. So uh, w how long will it take before we know whether the current vaccines we have can fight against this new variant? Realistically, I, I think it's still going to take another 10 to 12 days. Um, it has so many mutations that the quick assay that we used um, um, uh, to build it um, requires really making a lot of mutations in, in our past viruses. And then we need to isolate the virus uh, that's now being done in South Africa, but then you got to grow it up and distribute it to the labs throughout the world uh, to get consistent results. We will get these with these data. We suspect there will be some drop in efficacy. But boosting is really important here because you get tenfold increases in antibody with boosting. Um, and so even if there's a reduction, uh, we should still have very high levels of antibody. All right. A uh, lot of questions out there from you at home and, of course, all of us here. Uh, for you, Dr. Corey, we're going to bring you back here in about 30 minutes for more of our viewer questions if you're so grateful to stick around. If you have questions at home, text us at 206-448-4545. We'll see if Dr. Corey's... Uh, we know he can answer them. He can answer pretty much anything. But we'll have Dr. Corey on at 645 to continue the discussion. Thanks, Dr. Corey.